Alrighty, what up guys and welcome back to Coach Klaus TV, this 18 and over channel designed for people on marijuana, music, and sports. And today, we are going to try to attempt to do some stoner picks, but not just any kind of stoner picks. We're going to be doing the NFL divisional round for the AFC and, or I should say the AFC and the NFC divisional round stoner picks. So I apologize. I know I haven't done some stoner picks for week uh, 16 as well as week 17. I didn't do the uh, wild card playoffs as well, so I apologize for that. But I decided, what the fuck, you know, tomorrow we got the Patriots game on. And then, of course, Sunday we uh, got uh, the NFC uh, divisional round games as well. So I decided, what the fuck, let's go out, hop up in the uh, Hoop Deluxe here. And uh, instead of being a hot box, it's going to be a fucking frozen cold box. It's straight up, as you guys can see, it is fucking cold. Like, the windows, as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're fucking just frozen solid all the way around. Holy shit, it is freezing cool. But like I told you guys, we're going to be doing some stoner picks, and we're doing the AFC and the NFC divisional round picks. So, hopefully you guys at home have your smoking devices loaded. Hopefully you guys are going to be enjoying your herb, your honey oil, your wax, your hash, your key, your shower, whatever you're smoking on cannabis-wise. Hope you guys are going to be enjoying it with me. And as always, the hit for hit challenge, every time I take a hit of some marriage or one, I want you guys at home to go ahead and take a hit with me and smoke along. So, we are actually going to be smoking on a joint. Instead of smoking that Citrus Bliss that I got yesterday, I just kind of put that off to the side. I went and got some delicious Purple Mary Wowie rolled up into a nice little top paper joint here. So we're going to be smoking on a joint and we're also going to be doing, like I said, the AFC and the NFC Divisional Round Picks. And holy fucking A, it's fucking freezing in here. It's got to be like fucking, I don't know, 15 degrees outside and probably maybe 18 degrees in here. But enough talking, let's get smoking. And get into our motherfucking picks here. Our stoner picks. Divisional round. So toast and here we go guys. It is so fucking cold. Oh man. So let's go ahead and get into our fucking A, it's cold. Let's go ahead and get into our uh, first game here. So we are going to be doing Saturday's games, which is going to be AFC, and then obviously next we'll do the NFC games, which are on Sunday. So the very first game we happen to have on Saturday is the Kansas City Chiefs versus the New England Patriots at Gillette Stadium at Foxborough. So the Patriots. From essentially what I've been, uh, or should say in the past couple days, what I've noticed is that Gronkowski for the Patriots has not showed up in the practice on Wednesday or Thursday, which is not very good. And I'm starting to think that uh, if Gronkowski even plays on, on Saturday, it probably won't be for the first quarter. He might sit out the first quarter. But there's a possibility that the Patriots may not have Gronkowski for Saturday, which is a big problem there. And of course for Kansas City, they just lost Jeremy Macklin to I think a, a sprained ankle or something. But Jeremy Macklin will not be playing for the Kansas City Chiefs on Saturday. So both teams have lost their essentially their primary number one weapon there. And Gronkowski and Macklin. Now I know Jeremy Macklin will not be played Saturday. I have no idea if Gronkowski will be played because like I said, the past two practices on Wednesday and Thursday, he did not show up for practice. He did not practice or participate in practice at all. So maybe I'm hoping as a Patriots fan that Gronkowski will be playing. Maybe, you know, if he, they might sit him out for the first quarter just as a temporary precaution, and then hopefully put him in the second, third, and fourth quarter. But there's a possibility that Gronkowski may not be in the game, and that makes a big difference. So real quickly, let's get into the offense. Patriots offense, you got Tom Brady. You still have James White. You still, uh, you will be getting Julian Edelman back, which is a very key part to the offense because you need a reliable receiver. When it comes to Tom Brady, he never does good unless he has that reliable receiver like a Julian Edelman or a Wes Welk or someone that can catch those 1,000 reception short little pass yards. But when it comes to the offense, Tom Brady, you know, ain't got that great of an offensive line, even though they are getting a little bit better. They're just kind of a ragtag offense. And I don't know if Gronkowski is going to be in this week. So the offense for, you know, the Patriots aren't really going to be that great. Where Kansas City, you know, Alex Smith, he's just a game time manager. He's really not that great of a quarterback. But their offense is pretty de decent. You know, aside from Macklin, they do have some other decent receivers as well as they also have uh, a really good uh, running back as well. And uh, I think his name's Johnson. That's what his name was. 
I'm not talking about Chris either. Uh oh, uh oh, joint went out. But straight up, I believe that Patriots have a better offense than Kansas City. But when it comes to the defense, Patrick Peterson, Corey Redding, Kansas City has a little bit of edge on the defense here. And straight up, this is going to be kind of, I guess, like a shootout. Essentially, whoever scores the most points is going to win this game. And me, personally, I'm just going to have to go with the Patriots to beat Kansas City at Gillette Stadium at home. Just because you do have Tom Brady. You do have Julian Edelman back, so he does have a solid receiver. And, of course, the Patriots happen to have a really good pass rush. What I just found out today is that they happen to be second in the league in sacks, very quietly, with 49 sacks as a team. So they're number two in the entire league with sacks, which is fucking crazy. I did not realize that. So we do have a really good front seven, a good pass rush with Jamie Collins, Dante Hightower, Gerard Mayo, Chandler Jones, on and on and on. But straight up, I'm going to have to take the Patriots to beat Kansas City at New England just because I feel like the Patriots offense is just going to be a little bit better. And when it comes to this game here, it's essentially going to be kind of a shootout. Whoever scores the most points is going to be winning. It's not really going to be relying on the defense. So me personally, I'm going to have to go ahead and take the Patriots to beat Kansas City for the AFC Divisional Round on Saturday. So next up, we have the Denver Broncos versus the Pittsburgh Steelers at Denver Broncos or the Maha Denver. Uh, the Mile High, Denver, Colorado, or whatever. But they're at Denver. They're at home. So, Peyton Manning is back. He will be playing. I don't know how good he's going to be playing, but he will be playing in this game. And then, of course, Pittsburgh Steelers, Antonio fucking Bryan's hurt. So, if he comes, so if he does play, he won't be, you know, 100%. And then, of course, Roethlisberger got banged up in that fucking last game. So, he won't be 100% either. So, straight up, me personally, it, if Roethlisberger and Antonio Bryan are at least 80% healthy, I would probably pick the Steelers to beat Denver at, you know, at Colorado. But straight up with Ben Roethlisberger, you know, being uh, banged up and hurt on that last uh, game, as well as Antonio Bryant, they really have grown how to rely on the run game. And me personally, I, I guess I'm going to have to go with Denver Broncos to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers as a safe pick, even though I really have a feeling that the Pittsburgh Steelers can really easily beat the uh, Denver Broncos as long as, Pitt, or as long as Ben Roethlisberger and Antonio Bryant are at least at 80% health. If they're at 80% health, the Pittsburgh Steelers will probably uh, beat the Broncos. But me, I'm going to have to take the Broncos to beat Pittsburgh Steelers on Saturday afternoon for the AFC Divisional Round. So, next up, let's keep on going. We have the Green Bay Packers versus the Arizona Cardinals. So the Arizona Cardinals have Carlson Palmer, who essentially was just kind of an average quarterback his entire career, and now all of a sudden he's a really fucking good quarterback, almost elite status right now is what he's playing at. But straight up, Arizona Cardinals, you got Larry Fitzgerald. He's a fucking solid, uh, reliable wide receiver. He's always been fucking good through his years. You got fucking, uh, what the fuck's his name? God damn it. Hold up. I just said fucking... Quick stoner moment. I literally just said Kansas City at Packers Peterson. What the fuck am I thinking? Packers Peterson ain't on fucking Kansas City. I'm getting the red teams mixed up. So Arizona has Packers Peterson and Corey Red. And I got those defenses mixed up. I apologize for that. But Arizona, they have a good defense. They have Packers Peterson. They have Corey, uh, Corey Redding. Then, of course, the uh, uh, Packers... Their defensive, or I should say their offensive line is hurt. They're not going to be, you know, essentially they're kind of fucked up right now. So it's going to be a little harder to keep Aaron Rodgers from getting sacked or getting hit. As well as they don't have James Jones, one of their little deep threats that they happen to have. So with their essentially one of their star receivers gone, as well as a bad offensive line, I could really see uh, the front seven of Arizona Cardinal defense really going after uh Aaron Rodgers and probably essentially knocking him down a lot in this game as well as since James Jones is gone whoever they have as their number one receiver jo Jordy Nelson or whoever the fuck it is Patrick Peterson is going to be on him man man coverage and Patrick Peterson is just like a Darrell Rivas he's a shutdown corner so straight up if Aaron Rodgers just had that, you know, if Aaron Rodgers had Randall Cobb or something, you know, had a solid fucking good receiver. I mean, James Jones, sorry, not Randall Cobb, but James Jones, like a really good solid receiver. I would probably pick the Packers to win, but straight up, me personally, I feel like the Arizona Cardinals has a better offense. 
in their run game and their pass game, as well as a better defense than the Packers. And I feel like the Arizona Cardinals is all around just a better team than the Packers. So me personally, I'm going to have to go with Arizona to beat Green Bay at home at their Arizona on Sun. Or oh wait, hold up, this one here's Saturday. Saturday on the NFC Divisional Round. I got to look at my schedule a little bit better. All right, so the Patriots game is Saturday. And then after that, we're going to have the Green Bay Packers and the Cardinals, which I picked the Cardinals to beat the Packers on Saturday. That's what I'm saying. So picking the Cardinals to beat the Packers. So that's on Saturday. And then I guess the Sunday games are Pittsburgh Steelers and Denver. And then the next one that we're getting into right now is Seattle and uh, Seattle and uh, I want to say Cam Newton fucking out on the wife, but Carolina Panthers. So recap, Patriots to beat the Kansas City Chiefs, Broncos to beat the Steelers, and Arizona Cardinals to beat the Packers. So essentially, I am guess I'm picking all the fucking home teams. So here we go. We have the Seattle Seahawks versus the Carolina Panthers on Sunday, are essentially the fourth game that will be on the divisional round, and this is on Sunday, like I said. Fuck, a joint is giving me problems. Alrighty, so Seattle Seahawks versus Carolina Panthers. You got Cam Newton, you got Ted Ginn Jr., you got a decent offense with a really good quarterback, and you got a somewhat pretty good, decent defense on the Carolina side. I mean, straight up, Seattle Seahawks. I feel like the Seattle Seahawks are a really good team. I don't think they're, I should say, their record does not resemble or relate to the actual talent and the actual team itself. They just kind of had a fucked up year this year. But straight up, I feel like, me personally, Seattle Seahawks. They have a good offense. They have a really fucking good defense. And Carolina, you know, they have one receiver right now, and that's Ted Ginn Jr. And if you take him away with Richard Sherman, then you have Greg Olson for short passes. And that's easy. They could sit there and put a middle linebacker on uh, Greg Olson, and they can cover him. And that essentially you're just going to have to make Cam Newton essentially kind of run. If you start making Cam Newton run and go out the pocket, it's going to be a very hard day for him. He's going to have a very hard time trying to score, get passes, or get pass yards. So me personally, I feel like the Seattle Seahawks defense is just going to fuck up Cam Newton's day and the Carolina's offense, as well as I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go with essentially the Seattle Seahawks to beat the Carolina Panthers, just because the defense will stop Cam Newton and their offense with Russell Wilson. Marshawn Lynch is back. That's right. Marshawn Lynch is back and Doug Baldwin. Don't forget about Doug Baldwin and Lockett and fucking uh, the other Lewis guy or something like that. They got another running back that's just fucking ridiculously good, but straight up. Seattle Seahawks, I feel I have a better offense, and their defense is really good, and it will stop Carolina Panthers, and I feel like Seattle Seahawks will score at least 10 more points than Carolina, so I'm about to go with the Seahawks to beat Carolina at Carolina on Sunday for the, NF or for the NFL Divisional Round Playoffs. So, let's go ahead and recap real quick. Patriots to beat the Kansas City, Broncos to beat the Steelers, uh... Cardinals to beat the Packers, and Seattle Seahawks to beat the Panthers. So those are my NFL Divisional Round Stoner picks. And if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for Kush Klaus TV daily. And also, to anyone that's watching out there, Go ahead and let me know down in the comments what football team you rep. What, what's your football team? Are you a Vikings fan? Are you a Patriots fan? Are you a Seahawks fan? Let me know who you rep. Who's your team down in the comments? I would like to know personally just to kind of see, since you know uh, what my viewers, or since the viewers that are watching, I since you kind of want to know what's your guys' team. What, who, you know, who's your football team? Who do you rep? Let me know down in the comments what's your football team. But enough of that. Hopefully you guys have a good day or night. All around 24 hours. Definitely stay high, stay medicated, stay lifted, and always enjoy your herb. Peace. See you guys next time on Kush Clouds TV with one more Purple Mile Wowie Joint Cloud. Woo-wee. Goddamn. I do like some tasty weed. Peace. See you guys next time on Kush Clouds TV.